is being pulsed on. Okay, for five seconds. So what they do is drop power to the smoke detectors to allow them to reset. Now we're going through some timers right now. Now we're putting the air handler reset on, so we're going to reset air handlers if that was the case. And control system is uh, complete. So we can see all that goes on. Um, equal, equal, off. That's the last thing I did was set print OK on. OK, set print OK off. Um, once again, with print OK off, if we did a detector reset, this is basically all we would get. It doesn't print out all that. Sometimes it's nice to, to print out all that garbage uh, if we're looking to see if things are working because we can put things on disable and then we can set points on in the program and we can watch the program turn points on and off and we can make sure that everything works properly. Um, that's about it. I, mean, I could probably go on and on. I probably, if I get a chance to get out here again, they're actually uh, getting ready to demo this system out of here uh, and replace it with all the new stuff. Because uh, um, you know, nobody, you know, it's getting old. It's already obsolete. Um, but once again, it was my favorite panel. If you understand how to program SMPL logical programming in this panel, um, everything else that supersedes this, the 4100 Classic, the 4100 Plus, 4100U, the 4100 ES, it'll all be a piece of cake. It's all easy. It's you know, plug and play, uh, just all the equations that we've written in here out. Um, they've taken the best of them and they've, they've just kind of canned them and, and you can just select them and use them wherever you need to. Um, back in the day, we were sitting here um, and a customer had a request, hey, you think you can make this happen? And we could sit there and we would create it, which was really cool. We would try things and create it until we got it. Okay. And once we got it, that became the stepping stones for all equations that are written in the newer panels nowadays. All right. So I need to, um, I guess, set locks up off okay it's gonna get rid of that and I think that's my last trouble yep the trouble light is out one thing about this panel you'll notice is the green light is not on okay the green light is not a power on light um, as in, in a 4100 panel the 4100 panel the green light signifies that you have 120 volts uh, power going to your panel okay all clear Will come on when everything else is out. That is um, signifying that everything is 100% in that panel. If one thing is not 100%, uh, like we said, there's only one thing going on here in this panel, and it's that priority too. If we could get that tamper switch cleared out, maybe we'll go take a look at that in a little bit. Um, we can get that red light out, and if everything's all clear, and if we go around and we hang all our fire phones up, because that's what all these red lights are. They're fire phones off the hook. If we get them off the hook, more than likely we could get that green light to light up. Um, a lot of times we like to take a picture of that panel when that green light's lit, because it's very rare that you know, these green lights actually light, especially uh, as old as these panels are now, um, you know, and how they're being used. Uh, it's it's kind of tough. All right, um, we got one thing left. Set. True. Back off. Okay, and before we get out of here, we want to run a list real quick. That's one thing we always do. We ran that list. We see our tamper switch has an issue. We've got some AHUs running, which is normal. Uh, then we have some telephones off the hook right there. Our main program's on. We want that to be on. SCC, we want that on. Okay, and then uh, we got some other points. Uh, there are pseudo points referring to the... Uh, to the dampers and the um, and the, the fire phones and a couple other a couple other things that uh, show up in the list. But besides that, it, it all looks good, and I think we can call it a day.